Another really important benefit of, uh, of xanthohumol is that it, it helps the body maintain a healthy cholesterol level, just generically. It helps the body maintain, and I'm repeating myself, but it bears repeating, uh, a healthy blood sugar level and a healthy insulin level. It also prevents the elevation or the rise of triglycerides, and, uh, and that also plays an important role in cardiovascular disease, so which, which leads into another great feature of xanthohumol. Elevation of triglycerides in the body, which, which uh, comes about by eating uh, too much carbohydrates, if your body eats more carbohydrates than it needs for the metabolic energy that your body needs to stay uh, tuned and healthy at, at a present time, it converts the, the, the excess carbohydrates into triglycerides, which are deposited as fat in the body. But elevated triglycerides seems to prevent the leptin which is, a, which is a hormonal substance produced by the body which tells our brains that we're full after we eat. You know, a lot of people will just sit and eat and eat and eat. Their, their leptins very often are, are, are out of balance. And an elevated triglyceride prevents leptin from, from doing what it's supposed to do in the brain. So by controlling triglycerides and keeping your triglycerides lower, the leptin seems to be able to experimentally be able to tell the brain that we're satiated to stop us from eating. So it plays a, a profound role in our eating behavior and, and uh, in obesity. So xanthohumol also plays a role in, uh, in, in weight control and obesity. Number one, by, uh, by, by, by controlling um, the triglycerides. Number two, it, it, uh, xanthohumol has an affinity for uh, brain cells that produce GABA or GABA, which is a an inhibitory uh, neurotransmitter, uh, which actually has been found experimentally to control the brown fat metabolism, which is responsible for metabolic activity of fat all over the body. So xanthohumol may play a role in the in the in the metabolic. Uh, control of, of brown fat. Xanthohumol also uh, plays a, a, a role in what's called adipogenesis. In other words, the genesis of fat cells keeps the fat cells from filling up with fat by its metabolic activity. So it has three major areas that it can play a role in our overall body weight. Uh, balance and, uh, and, and overall well-being. Uh, a side effect of this also of the xanthohumol, an, imp an important uh, feature of xanthohumol which may play a role, is that it, uh, it allows people to, to relax. Hops are known to be relaxed. People take hops to, 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 to help relax themselves. Relaxing your body also allows a person to experience more restful sleep. And by experiencing restful sleep, ex recent experimental evidence has showed that if people get restful sleep, they're more likely to, to lose excess weight than if they're having sleep problems. So the xanthohumol will affect weight control uh, probably through the, uh, the, the, the sleep mechanism by, by allowing people to relax, reduce stress, and go to sleep, and, and which leads to another area that the xanthohumol, uh, because it allows somebody to relax and to de-stress and to, to get restful sleep, also enhances a person's overall energy sure. and, uh, and, 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 and sense of well-being. Mm -hmm. And it also helps a person's mood. P people tend to feel less moody, tend to have less uh, less emotional fluctuation because overall they're feeling better mm -hmm. and, they're, and, they're, and they feel less stress. So xanthohumol does aid in this and, it's, and this has been shown experimentally to, to, to be the case.